SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket and a Dragon capsule on Tuesday, and although their landing attempt of the first stage wasn't quite successful, the explosion was still epic. This is your Space Pod for April 16th, 2015. The first attempt to launch this rocket was on Monday, but was postponed due to weather. And the attempt on Tuesday was successfully able to launch. The second stage was able to successfully separate and burn and deliver the Dragon capsule into orbit and send it on its way towards the International Space Station, which it should be arriving or rendezvousing with and berthing to tomorrow on Friday. This Dragon capsule, which is for the CRS-6 mission, or Commercial Resupply Services number 6, is not only carrying supplies, hardware, science experiments, and even personal items for the astronauts and cosmonauts on board the International Space Station, but there are two secondary payloads that are really cool on this mission as well. The first one is the ARCID-3 spacecraft, which is a technology demonstrator for planetary resources. It's a three-unit CubeSat, which is going to be testing out the technologies they're going to offer on their ARCID-100 series of spacecraft. Planetary Resources is eventually planning to capture and mine asteroids for their valuable resources. This ARCID-3 was actually a reflight mission because the first ARCID-3 flew on Orbital Science's third commercial resupply mission, which last fall, shortly after the rocket lifted off the pad, exploded. So that sucked, but they were able to rebuild the spacecraft and successfully launch it on SpaceX's mission that launched on Tuesday. The other payload was actually 14 CubeSats launched for a company called Planet Labs. These CubeSats are Earth observation satellites that are going to be launched from the Kibo module of the International Space Station. They're going to be joining a much larger constellation that Planet Labs calls Flock 1, and these satellites are called Dubs. Planet Labs' purpose for all of these CubeSats, they eventually want to have about 131 of them in orbit at the same time, is to have frequently updated good resolution images of the Earth so that they can you know, for all of the purposes for doing Earth imaging, mapping, agriculture, natural resources, weather forecasting, etc. So at least for the launch of SpaceX's CRS-6, everything was successful of getting the Dragon into orbit and it's on its way to the International Space Station right now. However, they wanted to try to land the first stage of the Falcon 9, and it had the deployable landing legs, and they supposedly fixed the problem of having enough hydraulic fluid so that the stabilizer fins could operate all the way to landing on the autonomous drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Apparently, when that first stage came in for a landing on that drone ship, it was just a little bit too hard, and it seems to me from the video that with all of those last-minute course corrections and the speed that it was descending, it was enough for it to tip over and have the epic explosion that ensued. Apparently, the damage to that drone ship wasn't actually that bad and will only need minor repairs, at least according to a tweet that Elon Musk put out. So even though this landing attempt was a failure, I'm hoping that it wasn't because of the same problems that happened the last time they tried to land on this drone ship. And whatever the problems are, I believe that SpaceX is going to continue on, will solve those problems, and will be successful someday in being able to land one of their first stages on either the drone ship or back on land. The nice thing at least is that the primary mission of this Falcon 9 rocket was a success, even though the landing wasn't. Thank you very much for watching this space pod. My name is Michael Clark, and I would love to know what you guys think about whether this mission was a success, a failure, or a partial failure, or partial success. I want to know what your point of view of it is. I also wanted to give a shout out and a huge thank you to everyone who supported our Patreon campaign for making these space pods. Every little bit helps, and we are already a fourth of the way towards our first goal, so lots of really cool things are going to be happening in the future, and we'll get our stuff together and get the graphics up of everyone's names who's contributed so far so that you can be publicly acknowledged and appreciated for what you've contributed. Again, thank you so much, and if you would like to find out more information about how you can support these space Pods, please visit patreon.com slash spacepod to become one of the citizens of tomorrow and to make these videos happen. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time and congratulations SpaceX.